it is Monday morning and I'm so excited because I filmed today and let's get you the better angle is that better you can see me okay so I just wanted to talk to you guys this morning about being kind to people I do my best to be as kind and as accommodating as possible and I don't even know how to how to word this right but God showed me this today I remember when I used to coupon really hard at Walgreens right before they made all the changes where it basically doesn't make sense to coupon there anymore but there was this cashier this uh, German lady old lady not old like she's like 60s right and I always thought that she didn't like me because she always give me a hard time and why are you using these coupons and there's so much coupons like she always used to give me a hard time like you uh the we have a spanish newspaper here in florida and the it's it's a free newspaper and i used to pick it up and she used to hide it behind the counter she used to hide the newspaper and i'd walk in there and she'd look at me and i just turn back around and go somewhere else and things like that but whatever right even though i still buy in the regular orlando um newspaper she'd still give me a hard time and I stopped going there and I used to avoid her. Like if I see her cashing, I just leave. Um, go well, cash into the beauty counter with somebody else, you know, and um I saw her today apparently. So yeah, I saw her and I said, you know, good morning and stuff, how you doing? You off today? And she was like, Yeah, I was like, Oh, okay. And she's like, they reduced my hours. I said, Why? She said, um, because of some internal situations, you know, medically I have going on and stuff, so I can't really work. I'm hoping I could work and stuff. And I was like, oh man, you know, I'm so, you know, sorry to hear that. I, you know, I hope you feel better and stuff. She's like, yeah, I hope the doctor give, let allow me to get more hours because I need the money to work. And it's always a cycle. And so she just was talking to me and I just let her vent. You know why? Because I was like, you know what? You don't know what people are going through. So it's always best to try and be kind to people because you don't know if they may be pissy mad at something else and take it out on you and you being kind or showing some type of kindness towards them might just brighten their day that they might start to feel better and pass that kindness on to somebody else so i say that to say don't judge people harshly especially if you know you come nice and they start giving you attitude continue to smile continue to be you know kind and say you know okay i understand and try to be as, as nice as possible because you don't want people going through that woman used to treat me so bad when I used to come in Walgreens and lo and behold not knowing that she going through a medical situation you know what I mean so I just said that to say you know you just you, you you gotta be kind you gotta try to be a light out there for other people especially if you don't know what they're going through so yeah but yeah God already promised us that no weapon formed against us shall prosper so no matter how mean somebody is to you, some stranger mean, they can't do anything to you because God already got you. So just be encouraged, y'all, and encourage somebody today. Encourage somebody today. Be a light to somebody. Um, Because like I said, even with this situation, you don't know what someone's going through. You don't know what they got going on in their life. So it's going to go rain. I'm going to get back inside the house. And Kim Nichols has breakfast, and we're supposed to go to the grocery store today, so I hope that happens. But yeah, I, I just wanted to give you guys some word of encouragement today, because that happened this morning, and I was, I was like, yeah, look at God, look at God this morning, because you know I hadn't seen that woman in a long time because of how she used to treat me when I come to the, to the Walgreens. But now I know why, and it makes it a whole lot better that I can pray for her and. You know, hopefully she gets some healing. We're in Panera Bread, waiting on our order. I look a hot mess, y'all. It's been a really long day. I just came out of CVS, and they don't have too much going on. Yeah, I did cook on this a little bit, but my eyes are like really red. I'm exhausted. I had a really long day, basically shopping, trying to get some groceries for my brother because we are leaving to go to the Bahamas on Thursday, Nicholas told me today. So yeah, we was running around doing grocery stuff. But I'm just waiting on my pick two order from Panera Bread. 
I love to get their Napa almond um, chicken salad sandwich. It's really good. Get it on croissant bread. Don't get it on the bread that they give it give it to you with. Get it on croissant, and you're gonna love it. But yeah, I will see you guys when I get home, and I'll show you what the sandwich looks like. So whenever you go to Panera Bread, you guys can totally get it. I really, really love it. Okay, y'all. So this is how the pick two salad comes. What did I get? I think I got it some Mediterranean with quinoa and kale and stuff. It comes in this really cute little box. I got a pick two, by the way. And then the sandwich comes all wrapped like this. And this is... Look how pretty. The Napa almond chicken salad. It has... It's a chicken salad with grapes and things like that that's what it looks like on the inside it's really good on croissant the other bread that it comes with is super hard which makes it not good so if you get it with the croissant you're gonna love it so i'm gonna go ahead and eat this and this see i'm doing better i don't know what what is this oh it's dressing so yeah i think they gave me croutons i might eat it i don't even know if it's mine no nicholas I have your croutons for your soup. You want it? Yeah? No, why? You don't like croutons? Fine. Anyway, I'm going to go eat. Hey guys, it's Tuesday. A very productive Tuesday, I might add. I have filmed two videos and I did a blog post today and I'm so excited and I'm proud of myself that I was able to do all of that today. But we still have some running around to do. Why am I so yellow? Super yellow and I'm in front of all these lights. But yeah. Um, what else is going on? I got some hair. I got my first set of hair from AliExpress. Never ordered from AliExpress before when I used to wear a lot of... Um, weaves I would go direct to a company called Wagman's hair and I used to like to get their raw hair like raw unclean I could still see the lice eggs in it type of raw because I was so skeptical about other companies claiming to be virgin so I wanted the hair straight off the person's head unwashed I need to see that this thing is real because if lice is on it then it came from someone's head that had blood and stuff follicles yeah if that makes sense so I used to get that kind of hair and I used to clean it I used to spend days cleaning that hair but I still have that hair it's been I got that in 09 10 11 12 13 14 15 seven years and that hair is actually still going strong so yeah <laughs> this Aliexpress vendor that I got this hair from they sent me a frontal it's my first ever frontal never had a frontal in my life so I'm really excited about it I'm gonna make a um, a wig out of it because I'm not sure if I want to get a sew-in as yet I do want to do a sew-in but when I do a sew-in I want a ball like I I know it's spring and stuff and spring requires that you have a shorter hair so I really want a bob for the rest of the spring but not right now so yeah i am done filming for the day i already did a blog post and i'm like i said i'm feeling really productive today this is my makeup today absolutely no eyeshadow on today i'm super proud of myself Some earrings I like my earrings and i'm really into these um chambray jeans type of shirts with like the roll-up sleeves i'm super into these they're very comfortable very light um on the skin so I'm obsessed with them but I decided to do messy bun today and just light makeup nothing too serious so yeah I'm going to go run some errands that we have to do and of course we'll take you along with us to see what we're gonna be doing today look at this I think it's a lily what is this what kind of flower is this what kind of flower is this what's a lily a lily? What is this? It's a. It is a lily. Stargazer Oriental lily. I want one. That is gorgeous. That's the type of bathroom Nicholas says he wants. I like this. 
to separate us. We can stay on his side, but he says he don't like that. What do you all think? That's corner space. Corner space for who? Your trash. My trash? If I'm on my side, it's um, your trash. Your stuff is already be on my side. I like so this. That's what. That's the middle piece here. Exactly. So it'll, yeah, it'll be my stuff, but this piece of it. Yeah. But then it'll still be your stuff too. This is nice. Hmm? I don't like the color though. Like if it was deep like this. Yeah, it'll be cool. I mean, I like the design. This is it. More like this. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. I don't like that color. It's ugly. Oh. Uh huh. No. What's wrong with that? This it'll have to be against dark wood. Yeah. I don't know. You gotta, they got a mask up. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> My voice is basically gone. It's early in the morning. It's like, it's 8 a.m. I'm usually up early before everybody. That's just me. But apparently, I have a box today from House of Lashes. Oh, sorry, it's dark. I bought a... <clears throat> oh, my goodness. I bought the... The Lash Story, I was really excited about it. I'm surprised I saw this because this got delivered late yesterday, like after six, and it's in here, which means my brother had time to check the mail this morning, which is weird. Like, why would you check the mail and then come home and then go back to the bus? I don't know. But I thought I would share it with you guys. I haven't seen it yet, so let me show you. This is what it, the box is beautiful. Let's move this. That's billing information. That's boring. Oh my goodness, so cute. What's this? Thank you card. And I guess just a little bit of information about what the last story actually is. So I purchased this because, let me show you why. This is how my lashes look in my drawer, okay? They're everywhere, they're just a mess, right? So I figured, since I'm traveling so much, I need, ah, they put a sleeve on this that I need something that will house my lashes. Like, I saw the smaller one, but I was like, I don't want to be restricted to like three lashes or whatever. This is so hard with one hand. Okay. <sighs> awesome. It's so pretty. It's really pretty. It's so pretty. That's nice. This is the same um, plastic that you'd see the a normal lash um, packaging would have. So that's cute. Now what they should have done was put like like in here, put like a mini um, washable marker and like some little labels, right? So you could take that little washable marker and write above the lash what lash it is. See what I'm saying? So there are going to be times when you wear a lash and people will be like, what lash are you wearing? And you might actually forget what lash that is. So 
that's a little tidbit that I could probably make on their website or when they ask for their review. Now these two spaces, yes, one could be for glue, but the next one could be for like a washable marker and then have little um, tabs up here where you can write exactly what lash it is in case you forget. But it is pretty cute. It's, um, it's magnetic closure, so that's good. And I think it's adorable. It's very, very nice, very, very lightweight. And I can't wait to fill it, but right now I'm gonna go and um, grab something to eat because I'm starving. And there's a ton of errands we have to run today. This is the thing with family members when they know that you're traveling, they wait until the day of to tell you that they need stuff. So today, where I thought I was gonna do some laundry and film, I have to run errands today. So this is going to be the face if I don't decide to put on makeup. And yeah, so I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, extra super long day. Um, the Apple store seriously takes way too long. My appointment was at 4 o'clock and they didn't serve me till 30 minutes later. And I, I have another 30 minutes to wait for the phone to get fixed. I'm fixing Nicholas's cousin's phone. I have done absolutely nothing today. I spent my whole day in that mall trying to get that phone fixed. But what I'm drinking, because I haven't eaten since lunchtime, I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because I know I had to get on the road and get things done, but I haven't done anything. Um, I'm trying this. I just went to the vitamin shop to get a tea that I want to try. I always wanted to try this. It says it's a super slimming herbal tea. I always wanted to try that. So I said I picked that up and just to put something in my body, I didn't want to eat the mall food because I don't know, like I want Chipotle, but I don't want to get anything to eat until I go home because I know Nicholas probably had like a hot dog sandwich or something. And I, you know, when I go, I want him to eat too. So I picked up this aloe awaken and wheatgrass. I said I'd give something. I have to drink something, you guys. I'm sorry. This vibe is annoying. Let's try it. It smells like grass. Not bad. It had really large chunks of olives in it. Wow. I wouldn't mind if the chunks were smaller, but they're huge. Mmm. Wow, the chunks are really big. Woo! Alright. So, yeah, I have to drink that real slow. <laughs> really slow. But I'm going into Nordstrom Rack to see if there's anything cool in there to kill some more time. And then after that, I will be on my merry way to get this phone from the mall. And then I have to go to Target. And then I have to go to Lowe's. Mm, so yeah, let's see what Nordstrom Rack has. walking towards Z Gallery, which is a store that I've always, always, like I get their things in the mail and I just love their stuff. Like I just, oh, look at this, oh, the glare. You can see it. It's like a tree. Oh my God, this is so pretty. I'm going inside. I've always, always wanted to go in one of their stores. It's just like the catalog. 
It's exactly like the catalog. Everything is over the top gorgeous. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at the pretty flowers. Almost every YouTuber has this in their house. And now we know how much it costs. Happy Thursday guys, and just like that, we're back in the Bahamas. Nick's upset because it's hot, and he's tired, and I'm hot, and I'm tired. And we almost missed our flight for the very first time, didn't we, babe? <laughs> he doesn't want to be here. But I'm exhausted. I need a good nap. But yeah, we're we're home now. And it's hot. I had a sweater this morning. And as soon as the door is open, I had to take that off. But outfit, nothing major. Seriously. Nothing over the top. You have to be super duper comfortable to even bother. But yeah, this is what it looks like. What's up guys? So I'm awake from my 8 hour nap since the flight. <laughs> I'm exhausted but yeah, I'm unpacking now. <sighs> this is the part I don't like. Because I'm lazy when it comes to unpacking, I really don't want to do this. But um, we're to the wise with um, suitcase stuff. These, <clears throat> these hard, um, suitcases these don't get them especially if you're traveling really really far and weight is an issue because they come already like 10 pounds like I have a set and yes they are beautiful suitcases very very nice but they already weigh 10 pounds so it's like you can't put anything in it because it's so heavy already oh man all right, so I got my ponytail holder. I'm gonna put my hair up in a ponytail and get this stuff done. And after that, I'm probably gonna go back to sleep because I'm really, really tired. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow.